you'll be put through a series of... So those are the three parts that you need to pick up. You start with that. So it's essentially telling me how to fix this machine before I... Right, so now we do some real fun, real stuff. Come, let's go that Looking way. Looking forward to this. We have done virtual and augmented reality. Uh -huh. Now reality. Okay. This is a human-robot collaboration. You're in charge, press the button. Okay. So we use cobots where load is heavy or it's a repetitive task. So these could essentially be built at any size? Yes. Okay. It depends on the payload that you need to carry. So it could technically carry my cup of coffee if I want. Oh, definitely it'll carry your cup of coffee. All okay. right. So now the cobot has done its job. Very efficient. So now we have an assistant for you. Come step here, uh -huh. press this button. What does this do? Turn around, walk. Is it? Oh, is it following me? Yes, it will. <laughs> We've now come to the assembly line where you're going to put the gearbox together. I'm going to put a gearbox together. Yes, you are. <laughs> That's what we trained you for. Okay. <laughs> this is where you'll have the fun. Okay. But we'll come to this in a second. Uh huh. First, let's go and look at the first station where we put together the gear and shaft assembly. Okay. It's heavy, we use a cobot. The reason we use a cobot is that it takes care of repetitive tasks. More importantly, it handles health and safety issues. You just feel one of these. Go and pick it up. Oh, that's, that's, that's quite heavy. heavy. Yes, yes, Correct. Yes. So we get this done by the cobot. Okay. We place it here. Uh huh. We go down to second station, which is where you're going to have fun okay. assembling it. So I have to ask, because I watch a lot of sci-fi, yeah. does this mean that the robots are not going to take over no, the world? No, they're not going to take over the world. Not in my lifetime and hopefully not in yours. <laughs> We're still going to be in charge. That sounds good. Okay. Should we head to the next station? Let's go to the next station. And With this... your loyal companion. My, my favorite friend. Yes, correct. Yes. <laughs> Let him follow you around. <laughs> So we're moving from the cleanliness of the EML mm -hmm. to now getting your hands dirty. This is the yeah. real deal. This is the real deal. I got more gifts for you. Oh, fantastic. I can feel like a real engineer. <laughs> Ready to go? Now manual labor. Uh-huh. Pick this up. Oh boy. This yep. is quite heavy. heavy. Okay. Okay. Extreme there, yes. This one. This one yeah. goes here. Okay. okay. Step one. That one next. Okay. One, two, three. This came from the cobot, by the way, if you're wondering where it came from. Oh, okay. It came from there, we assembled. Okay. You can feel the weight of this. Yes, this is... It's heavy. Quite heavy. Exactly. I can understand why we need cobots now. Yeah. I think that's in. There is still another bit. Oh, oh, and the Doog is... The Doog will follow you everywhere. Very it's loyally. a faithful companion. Yes. Okay. You have now passed station two. Congratulations. Fantastic. But your job's not done yet. Go to the control panel and just press good. Good. And you press this guy. This one here? Yep. And you are done at this station. Amazing. It wasn't that hard, but it was heavier than I expected. Exactly. So, you've done now the hard and dirty work. Nice. Now let's take you back to your comfort zone. Control rooms. Okay, let's go. So here we are for the last station for today. The MICR, what does that stand for, Mr. Morley? It's the Manufacturing Intelligence Control Room. I see 12 screens in front of me, what's happening? You basically are looking at dashboarding, details of how the factory is running in graphs. We have a heartbeat, which green means the world is good. And over here is a snapshot of how the shop floor is working. Oh, Mr. Morley, I think something is wrong. I see that the heartbeat ah, is on red. We have a problem. That thing has stopped. Yes. It's the AGV, not your friend the Duke. So, do you want to fix it? I think so, yes. Pick up the wand behind you, point it, say okay. It's creating a maintenance work order okay. automatically. And now it's contacting the maintenance personnel. You can see here that the maintenance engineer is attending to the issue. Okay. He has now released it back to production. The heartbeat's green, the production is back to normal. Fantastic. You have done all that, congratulations. So all that happened just because I pressed one button. Exactly. Which is the intelligence and the control. So I think I've done a pretty good job here. Someone like a non-engineer like myself can actually run a factory like this. Just want to remind you that while you can do that, uh -huh. the creation of this took thousands of hours from our researchers across our entire ecosystem. And that is what you see in the background that allows you to touch a button and get that fixed. So I'll let you walk out of here thinking that you did a fabulous job. I think I did a fabulous job. And there you have it. As sophisticated as the machinery looks, the Model Factory exists to help companies integrate these advanced manufacturing techniques into their assembly lines, improving both output and efficiency with ease of use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna take my Duke for a walk. Come along.